Magnify, Mr. Sumo. What is this? Shields up! Red alert! Well, can you believe it's been 50 years since Star Trek first came into our lives? That's right. 50 years ago this year, uh, in 1966, the NBC series Star Trek came around, and it lasted three seasons. But who knew that for the next half century, it would spawn one major motion picture after another? Let's make some noise. Now we have the third movie in the new series of Treks, but... This time, J.J. Abrams is not behind the camera directing. Uh, he's turned that over to Justin Lin of the uh, Fast and Furious franchise movies. Justin Lin certainly has brought a Fast and Furious approach to what he does here with this new movie, Star Trek Beyond. And he takes it beyond any other Star Trek in terms of action that I have ever seen. It's almost nonstop and it's almost too much. But thankfully, the script, which is smart and funny, and it comes from Simon Pegg, who of course plays Scotty in the movie, and Doug Jung, uh, they've written a script that I think is true to the origins of Star Trek. It's got humor, it's got great meaning. Uh, so amidst all of the action that Lynn throws into this picture, uh, there is something for true Star Trek traditionalist, I think. Well, at least I won't die alone. The basic plot uh, has the peaceful goings on as the uh, Enterprise is into the third year of its uh, deep space five year mission when suddenly this alien who is as war happy as they come, his name is Crawl. He's played by the great Idris Elba. Idris Elba, I think, is terrific in this movie. He makes a great villain. He's decided he needs a death machine that is in the hands of Captain Kirk and Spock and the Enterprise crew, and he must get it. So he attacks the Enterprise and hurls them into an uninhabitable planet where they're stuck on this desert terrain uh, uh, with no way of getting back. This is a huge problem. It splits up the various crew members. They all have their own little adventures as they go along here. I was particularly intrigued uh, with Scotty and a new character named Jayla. She's got this kind of zebra striped face and she's terrific, played by Sophia Butella. Pardon me. He likes that scene. Kirk, played by Chris Pine, is going through an existential crisis of his own. He realizes he's getting older and in fact feels guilty uh, for living longer than his own father. And Spock, unbeknownst to Kirk, has not told him yet, he plans to leave the Enterprise and rejoin his own kind, his Vulcan kind, to help them on his own planet. So uh, there's lots going on with our main characters. Uh, Spock, by the way, played beautifully, as always, by Zachary Pinto. And this film is dedicated to the original Spock, Leonard Nimoy, uh, who died since the last film came out, and is also dedicated to Anton Yelchin, who plays Chekhov. He died tragically just a few weeks before the release of this movie this week. Uh, very sad to have those dedications on here, uh, but touching, I thought, at the end of the film. Anton Chelchin, by the way, gets a lot to do here on that planet because he's sort of uh, teamed with Kirk. I had a good time with this one. It is for action fans to be sure, and uh, that doesn't take away from anything else. Uh, the cast is terrific, as always. And if you're a Trekkie, hey, trek on over to your local theater. You're not going to miss this. I say go.